So hello, this is uh, Greg Wagner with uh, CIS uh, 279 at Pima Community College. I wanted to do a, this should be a fairly brief video on using um, filters. So I have some source code already um, for the filters. And um, so, um, so that, basically that's what you're looking on. And this is a modified version of the code I gave you. So one one mistake I made was I had the name if I oh, already changed it, but change uh, you want to make sure that to change the name of your filter. So a filter example you should match the name of your file, and so I had a different name just because I um, took it from someplace else. And in this case, I I'm overriding these two functions, which I don't need to do. So to kind of give you a real quick overview. Um, the filter class is a class in uh, in Java um, web spaces that runs before or after um, it takes data in or out of a particular um, after you uh, or goes through um, just basically looks at all the data uh, looks at all requests before they actually go to the service the pages and so what, a lot of times this is used for is compressing data which you saw with my gzip example or are using logs. And so in this case, um, I'm actually going to request a, a log. Uh, basically, I'm going to do a log. Um, the, the assignment's going to be to do a log for this uh, for this program. So kind of give you what the basics. So if you remember from servlets, you had a initialize, and um, which happens whenever the server starts running, as well as a do get and do post. Well, in this one, we have initialize. And we also have to destroy what happens when the um, File goes up. So, for this, what you'd um, for this particular assignment, since I'm asked to, I'm, I'm asking them to make you, you're asked to make a filter um, of a log. You should, in this area, you should um, have a a variable for a property for the file. So, like a file name or something like that. And then um, also a file function, and then here they initialize you would open it and destroy you would close it. And then what the do filter is going to do is you're going to write out the values at every instance. So in this case, um, and so we have the do filter, and so all, all this stuff that goes through request is here, and if you want to process any responses, that goes through here as well. So basically, anything that's coming into the server is going to go through the request. Anything that's going to come out of it is going to go through the response. So this way you can um, parse either um, responses or requests. And then what the chain is, chain do filter is, based on um, how many different filters you set up, it's going to go through a chain of them based on the order that you set them up in the um, the web um, web dash inf file. And we'll go over this in a little bit. But for example, if you want to, I'm just going to give some a little bit of functionality to this. For the assignment, what you need to do is make a log, so it just writes out to a file. Essentially, I was going to say write out to a file, whatever uh, file gets called, or whatever, whatever um, page gets called. But you can do any type you want. You can timestamp it or do anything like that. The main point of the assignment is to actually just build the thing. And so just to show you kind of how it works, I'm going to do system.out.println. And what this will do is it will output to the um, server the, the time. So I'm going to say file requested and then and then and then we'll get the value and so in here I want to get HTTP request this will give us the requested value or And then get, I think it's, I think it's get context path. And then just save this. And this should give us, you should, let me check to make sure this is right, but we first need to make um, some changes to the um, uh, web dot slash INF value. So I'm going to go into there. It's going to be my Java portion. So it's going to be source, main, Java. Oh, before I forget, 
So this is going to be in the main, the filters is going to be in the main section of the Java. So, um, but the web um, INF is going to be in the web app portion. So I'm going to open this portion up. So this is going to be the one where we have the default context. So, so what we want to do is just, we're going to add some filter material. So it's going to be filter. And the order doesn't really matter. It just needs to be within the web app. And let's see what the issue is here. And then I'll give it the filter um, filter name. And we call this just um, log filter. And then also, um, I'm, so th this I'm just going to point to the class. So gonna, this is going to be the filter class. And this is going to be. Um, so it's going to be filters dot. I what I forgot what I called it. Um, filter example. Let me save the filter example real quick. And so one thing, I'm, so I'm, you're still getting it here. So what the web app now that I have a filter, I actually have to also map it. So filter mapping, and then within filter mapping, I need to have a bunch of different parts to it. And so I have the filter name. So this will be the same name as it is above there. So this basically maps the file to what the filter is going to do, and then a URL pattern. So the URL pattern is basically what am I looking for? So you can have it do for anything, um, but generally you want to do it for web pages. So I'm going to do it for .html. And what's the warning here? I just could, this warning just basically says HTML spelled wrong, which is just because the the thing's over sensitive. And I'm also going to get another mapping since we're both doing HTML and and um, for the last assignment, JSP pages. So in this case is going to be filter name, the same name as before. Log filter, and then the URL pattern is going to be star which is a wildcard means anything any values before it in JSP. So if I save this value I think hopefully this is set up right. So I'm going to test it out. So you can see I I tested it earlier. So first I'm going to do maven.package. It looks like it's a built so now I'm going to run it. So I'm going to do S so um, since I'm running in Linux I'm going to do sh target slash bin. And remember, if you're running in Windows, run, uh, just, you just need to run the bin dot, um, the web.bat file that's generated with this. So the value should come up. So I have the server running, and then one th one change I actually made a mistake for is use get server servlet path, and I'll tell you what the path is for the for the value, so you can do this for a log. And so now I am running a non-existing page called test.jsp, and then when I hit enter for it, you can see the request page here. So I would use this technique to um, log the place and maybe you want to put a timestamp or kind of make it a little fancier you want but when I grade it I'm just basically I can see the path so again what I did was I did a print line for servlet path but what you would want to do for the assignment to make a log is open a file in the init file in the init um, method I mean and then in the filter whatever page is requested um, um, push that value in and then so the next portion the next thing I want to do is go over how to make an error page. So in this case, we're going to go back to the XML file. 
And basically what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit more in here. And for the error page, we're going to say error page. And then within error page, you want to do what code it is. So different error pages. And the ones that I'm really concerned about is, so if you have an internal error, that's a 500 error. And so you basically want to have this go to a particular page. So I'm going to call a page. I'm just going to call this error.jsp. And I'll just make a JSP page for this one. And then also what I'll do is I'm going to make another error page for the more common one, which is someone trying to get to a page that doesn't exist, which is called um, a 404 error. So I think I have it listed in my thing at, uh, or in my coat uh, in my um, in my description as a as a 403 but um, you, know, I mean, you can put it for anyone you want, basically anyone you want so the error codes are just basically values passed during the re um, request I mean from the response um, as long along with the message so I'm gonna do 404 and the location is gonna be wherever the file is so I'll call this error dot JSP and then having the dash in front means it just looks at the top of directory so I need to make that file real quick so I'm gonna put that in the web app I'm gonna make a new where is it? down in web a new JSP file and I'm gonna call this one error.jsp And then basically I'm going to put in here this is going to be for both of them, location not found. And then now what I'm I need to now I need to restart the server. So I'm going to kill this one. Do Maven package to rebuild it. Um, and then run it again and then if I select a file that doesn't exist so in this case it's going to be the test file that or the uh, index 2 file so I have in here what it would look like if I had a, a, a regular 404 file in the server now that I've added this functionality I'm going to do here, and now it has the location not found, which, excuse me, sorry about my um, bad, uh, ma bad management, matches this on um, this one. So generally filters are used for, also for uh, compressing images and stuff like that, which you can do, um, but for this particular class, I just want you to get kind of familiar with them. And um, use these. So again, filters are just basically parse, uh, look at the incoming and outgoing traffic before it actually loads the pages. So, if this helps you with your assignment, and um, let me know if you have any questions.